So I literally just walked in the door and I already got some stuff in my car. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I am back at the Goodwill Benz, yes. It has been a minute since I've been here. I went on a little vacation, so I'm pretty excited. Um, yesterday, I didn't make it up, but my friends did some picking for me up here, so I'm so excited. That will be in the haul at the end of the video as well. So let's get in there and see what we can find today. You know, I don't know what's been up with this dang wind, but it has been windy for days. Days. I'm tired of it. I want a nice, non-breezy day. I mean, it's a warm. It's 57, I think my Jeep said, but I'm not going to complain. There's no snow. <laughs> so I literally just walked in the door and I already got some stuff in my cart. My friends found me some a vintage quilt and some hankies, pillowcases, embroidered stuff. But I want to show you what my friend Todd found. Now he's keeping these, obviously. But look at these. This is a whole bin of like antique curling irons. These are so cool. Awesome. Good for him. They weigh quite a bit, but oh, ooh. Todd, did you know there's tools in here too? Yeah. Okay. I'll pull those out. Here you go. I don't know what this is either. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. Fine. Good job, Todd. So I just walked over and found a target bird from, his name is Oakley from 2022. Oh, they're bringing, they're bringing out bins. Wonder what they're bringing. 8 hard. Oh, right here. All right, they're taking away the old bins and they're gonna bring out some new ones. All right, here they come with the new ones. Okay, so they were bringing out hard and then they called their bring it out glass. Yay! So they're switching the glass out. Um, the only thing I found, I was only at the bins for a second. I found these cutie patooties. Okay, here's the glass. I'm not seeing anything in here that I want. Okay, well, I didn't find much of anything in the glass bins at all. My mom, a hand mirror and a little pottery pitcher that's signed. That's about it. So now I thought I'd come back and look in these hard goods. See if there's anything in here. find if anything a 
fossil wallet. doesn't work. It's missing an eye. <laughs> it's missing an eye. Look at this big old dinosaur. 2011. He's a big guy. Look at this beautiful painting I just found and it's signed. It's from 1979. It's a covered bridge. Very beautiful. We have a lot of covered bridges here in Iowa. Well, we used to. A lot of them got burnt down from arson, but which is unfortunate. Oh, I love this garland. in good shape it is I'm gonna get this garland what's it say made in Hong Kong it's in good shape I like that garland reminds me of my childhood Stained. It's too bad. Report card, report change of address promptly. I don't know what those are. another one of those all stained up Just keep digging, hoping to find some treasures. But so far, there's nothing that I'm like super excited about. Something smells like oil in this bin. What in the world? It's like a sprinkler or something. Oh. Cute froggy.
a big piano. Look at what I just pulled out. They're 1993 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Reflex Magnets. The new in the package. I definitely got to get that. That's pretty cool. That green grass on the other side just looks that way from here. D. Morgan, 1992. Hmm, I'm going to look that one up. That's kind of cute. That'd be really cute for a gallery wall. And it's just a perfect little size. Look at that. Found a vintage Vera scarf, so that'll go in there. Wonder if there's any more scarves in here. I don't know if that's a, I'm gonna have to look at that one. That's not, and that's not. Feathers. There's a stained glass thing. That's cute. That'll go into a treasure bag. Oh, there's a bunch of cute things in this bin. There's a bunch of cute little things. I'm gonna definitely have to go through this bin. Isn't that adorable? Ashley found these, aren't they cute? Cute. I'm gonna have to look them over. But this bin seems to be like kind of maybe a good one. Oh, I'm rich. I found $5. If only, huh? What's that? Yes, we'll stick that in there. Oh, we'll stick that in there. I wonder if I could find the other one. That's pepper. Under salt is in here. I wonder what these things are for. I'm sticking them in there. Oh, look at that old Duke. Oh. Oh, that'll go into a treasure bag. I don't want to. This is a good bin. Too soft. I don't have to go nowhere. These are neat too. I don't know. I don't know. There's the salt. Yes. Oh, there's a bunch of old stuff in this bin. That's pottery. I like that. Stick that in there. Okay, good luck at this soft. neat. All kinds of smalls in here in this bin. Oh, there's another one. Oh, and I'm dropping pans. I'm gonna go back through here. Let's see what else is in here. Some 
another one. Really nice tin. I'll just, you know, I'm gonna go, ooh. That is pretty for a gallery wall. It's really pretty for a gallery wall. I, tell me these are Lucite grapes. OMG, are you serious right now? I found Lucite grapes. Lucite grapes in the bins. Oh my gosh. They need to be put on like driftwood, but I cannot believe those are in here. I was kind of starting to think that today was going to be a slow day, but it's not. Here's the other one. These are very mid-century. Those are very cool. Here's Winnie the Pooh. He'll go into a treasure bag. No, he won't. He's broken. He's missing an ear. He's missing an ear. It's a dino-sized birthday party. Wait, I see one more. So there's a set of three of them. Three of them. Those are so cool. There's an Easter tree. Okay, so I told you guys that we all like have different niches and stuff here. We all pick up different things. Well, Todd gave me the box of curling irons and I gave him the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers magnets because that's more his niche than mine. So, yeah, it's, it's a good day. What's this? Oh, this is made in Japan. Oh, she's adorable. I like her. I'm going to take her. I'll put her in my cards. Lots of books. Now this would be super cool if it wasn't cracked right down the center and I would have got it if it wouldn't have been cracked right down the center. It's signed, Paul of Hawaii. And I looked these up and I can't really find any sold, but there's three listed and they're listed for hundreds of dollars. What a bummer. I wish it wouldn't have been cracked. Here they come with some new bins. New hard goods. Oops. All right, what's rolling out in front of me? I don't know, I'm gonna have to dig.
Okay, well, I am about done. I have filled my cart. Um, I need to go through it a little bit and clean it out and see what I want and what I don't because it's sort of heavy. But let's go home and get right into the haul. All right, guys, we made it back from the Goodwill bins with all this stuff. All this stuff. I got this, this, and this at the Goodwill bins, and I spent $28. And then my friend Alex got me this sack of linens in this box. And I just gave, she said, just give her 20 bucks. So I spent a total of $48 today at the Goodwill bins. And I got a lot of good stuff. So let's just get right into this big haul. Okay, well, first I'm going to show you guys my $28 haul. So the first thing that I picked up was this bin of vintage curling irons um there's a whole bunch of all different ones and they just put them all in a bin and they sold me the whole bin at a set price because you know it's heavy with all of them in there but there's like big ones little ones see they're all metal with no cords on them or anything there's these um, um, there's tons and tons in here. There's that, and that's got a, it says Kentucky Made Professional. Oh, I have no idea, you guys. What are these? I'm assuming they're curling irons, right? But, like I said, there's big ones, little ones, medium-sized ones. They're neat, so I got the whole bin for $1.79. I thought that was a pretty good price for all of them together. And then I got this. I have an idea what I'm going to do with this um, for my next live sale. So I'm going to put something on these. <laughs> so I have an idea. It's going to be surprise. Oof! poke my face out with it. Jeez, Missy. Um, I have a surprise. So you'll have to stay tuned to my next live sale for that. I'm excited about that. And I picked up a target bird. It's got the metal tag on it. It's Oakley from 2022. And he's still got his original paper tag too. Um, this gal, I love her. She's, oh, she's on a metal stand and it says made in Japan on the bottom. So I just thought that was pretty cool. Different. I picked up a troll. This is a weird looking one. He's a weird looking troll. He just says made in China on the back, but I liked him. If anything, treasure bag it. This vintage tin, it says made in England by Edward Sharp and Sons of Maidstone, Kent. Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. I like it. Little tin. Um, take up this little cloth gal. She'll go into a treasure bag, maybe, unless somebody wants her, you know, individually. I thought she was cute. She was in a bin with a bunch of vintage stuff. There's the, there was these salt and pepper shakers in there. These vintage mid-century salt and pepper shakers. And then there was another salt and pepper shaker set somewhere. This little thing was in there. It's it's broken, but you know, I it has the bird on it still. And I just thought it was so cute. These are made in Germany. It's a little um, hang up cuckoo clock. You can see it says right on the back right there. So maybe somebody could repair it or something. I thought it was cute. So I thought it would be fun in a treasure bag. You know me, I like making treasure bags. They're a lot of fun. Um, This little guy, he'll go into a treasure bag. This little finger puppet dude. <laughs> 
this troll I picked up. She's adorbs. So cute with her little ballerina outfit on. So maybe I'll sell the trolls together. I don't know. This painting, I really, really like this painting. And it is signed by the artist. And it's from 1979. They made it. I like it because we have a lot of covered bridges here in Iowa. And I thought it was pretty. And I got a ton of linens, you guys. Tons and tons of linens. I'll show you those here in a second. I picked up this bag. Look at them. They're a little cute. You can... They're not old, but they're still stinking really cute, adorable. They're cardboard, little cardboard ornament type things. There's tons of them in here. I thought those were fun. Two decks of vintage cards. One is old made and one is strawberry shortcake. So I'll probably sell those together. People like to craft with these package toppers, use them as tags in your um, antique or flea market booths. They make really good tags. I did pick up another salt and pepper shaker set out of that same vintage bin. I wish I would have went the day before. I bet there was some good stuff in there. But these, I like these salt and pepper shakers. They have their cork stoppers and these are pretty much in pretty good condition. A little bit of paint loss, but nothing too major. And then I picked up this garland. I really, really, really love this garland. It reminds me of my childhood because my parents had this um, hanging up in the kitchen every Christmas. So I like it. And this one does say um, made in Hong Kong. It is quite long. So I like it. I picked up hankies and scarves pillowcases, more hankies, more hankies, hankies, embroidered pieces. Oh, this will go into a treasure bag. I just thought it would be fun to hang up in it on your gallery wall in your kitchen. It's like a spoon type thing, but it's got a face on it. And I love it. You know me. I love my faces. <laughs> and it's got a hole right there so you can just hang it up on your gallery wall. Maybe I will. Who knows? No, it doesn't really. We'll see. More hankies. This thing I thought was really cool. This was in the vintage bin as well. It's a wooden... I found them separately. So I'm like, oh, how adorable. It's a, it's a man. And he's got a long neck with a pencil. Long pencil neck. <laughs> So I thought that was a really fun treasure, treasure bag maybe. Um, this vintage baby blanket quilt. It's embroidered. It's really stinking cute and adorable. Again, more linens, tons and tons of embroidered linens. This one is a um, apron. How awesome is that apron, vintage apron? I don't know what this one is. Just like a little tea towel or something maybe. Soft, it's really soft. More hankies, this one's really pretty. It's all embroidered. And pillowcases and a hanky. Tons of linen. So that's pretty cool. That's all in the sack. And then let's move on. Okay, then I picked up these. Unfortunately, there was only three, but that's okay because they sell individually. Um, they are the, like the wood, teak wood carved flowers. These are really, really pretty for a gallery wall. And see, they say summer, winter, and autumn. And they're all wood carved, so these were cool. Picked up that 
set of three. Then I thought this was really cool. This was in the glass bins. Is you hang it up. It's glass. Doesn't that just look like 70s style? It reminds me of like something that would be on that 70s show hanging up as decor. I don't know if it is or not, but it's glass and it's got plastic flowers in it. It's just so cool. I like it. Very groovy. Very that 70s show vibes to me. I love it. So that hanging glass piece and then this I thought was really pretty. This is like a stone pottery cookie jar. I picked it up because I really like the red color and all the paint still pretty much, you know, this is an older piece. It's got a little bit of paint loss here and there, but it's stone pottery. It's all stone pottery. I just thought it was really, really pretty. I love the red. It is bright and poppy and very beautiful colors. I thought that was a pretty piece. This I picked up because um, I looked up this artist right there. It is signed and I looked it up and these prints actually sell for pretty decent money. So, and I just thought it would be really cute for someone's gallery wall. Look, isn't that adorable? I found a Jim Shore kitty cat. So cute and adorable. A mirror for mom's gallery wall. Really fun, I like the handle on it. Mom has a mirror wall in her bathroom, it's really cool. This is gonna go into a treasure bag. I just like that little pin. I like that little dude on there. So he'll go into a treasure bag. These will probably go into a treasure bag. Um, they're little stained glass, the leaded glass pieces that you hang in your window and let the light shine through. So I thought those were pretty. This cute little set. They're ceramic pieces. So they'll probably go into a treasure bag. They're different looking. Kermit, he'll go into a treasure bag. He's adorable. And the bells keep falling off. So the bells might need replaced because the bells keep falling off his cardboard. But he is from 1973. I think that says 1973. Pretty cute. I need to find where that bell just went. I don't want my dog to chew it up. I did find a set of Lucite grapes. I could not believe it. These were in the old bin as well. These were in there as well. It does not have the wood. Unfortunately, the driftwood, you could find a piece and craft with it if you want. It's They're all on this wire, but it is a set of purple Lucite grapes. That was really cool to find in the bins. And these little weird things. This is a brooch. It's missing some of the stones, so it will go into a treasure bag, but it's it's a brooch. I don't think it was signed. And then I don't know what these were on. They're like metal. I have no idea, but they're neat. So I'm like treasure bag it. <laughs> going in the treasure bag. Same with these, these little brass little plate type things. Those will go into a treasure bag. This cute enameled boat. It is in really, really good condition. It is a trinket box. This will be sold individually because I know people like the little enameled trinket boxes. This is a fun sailboat one and it has all of its rhinestones and everything. Really good condition. And this little uh, heart stone that will go into a treasure bag. This little brass mirrored hanging piece. It's pretty old, neat and decorative. That will go into a treasure bag maybe. And then I picked up this awesome stone pottery piece. It is signed on the bottom, Rising Fawn, and I looked it up, and those um, are pretty decent money as well. So 
I figured why not? Plus the pattern is really nice and it's signed. And then the last thing that I picked up was this vintage polyester quilt. You know I love these, um, especially the vintage ones. Look at the backing, very, very groovy on this one. Really good condition. Um, it has a few, um, no, it's in good condition. I think that's actually how that's just made. See how it has, because it's just in the purple ones. So I think it's just how it was made. But I will lay it all out and put the size right here so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, all laid out and nice and pretty. So now I'm going to show you everything that I got from Alex. Okay, so yeah, I don't think I did too bad for only spending $28 for all that stuff. What do you guys think? Um, how do you think I did? Okay, so now, the day that I didn't go, Alex um, found a bunch of glass. They brought out glass bins, and there was a bunch of glass in there. So I'm going to show you everything that I got, or she picked up for me there. She picked up this beautiful green Ellie Smith candy dish. Unfortunately, it does have chips um, along the edge. These are always usually chipped up right there because people slam them down. They are candy jars. So they're usually always chipped. So there is chips around the edging. Unfortunately, the bottom piece is not chipped. The bottom piece is in really good condition. <laughs> it's just the top. I don't think she noticed it when she picked it up, but it's okay. And then this amazing glass fish on a glass base. Absolutely love it. Isn't that so gorgeous and pretty? There's no chips or cracks. I thought this was broke at first, but it's not. It's all smooth. That's how it was made. Beautiful, gorgeous fish. I love the design. Very, very pretty. So that glass fish. And then this beautiful swung vase. You guys know I love my swung vases. Here's the base of it. It is so pretty. Very nice and thick. I love the colors, how the colors run through it like that. So, yeah, that is a no-brainer swung vase. Thank you, Alex. Um, This really pretty lidded dish. It is marked on the bottom. It is older. Um... You see right there? It's like hard to see. There you go. Like focus. But it's it's old and pretty. It's supposed to have like a spoon. It might have been like a gravy dish maybe. I don't know. If you guys know, comment below. I just thought it was very, very pretty. And an imperial horse. This is not glass, it's plastic, but it's marked on the bottom, Imperial, Imperial Toy, Hong Kong, 1975. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, a leather horse. This one's made out of all leather. So that's pretty neat and different. I don't know if it's signed anywhere. I don't know. This owl measuring spoon set. I thought they were really cute. Three kitty cats. This one, he's got some damage right there and then on the back of his ear. He's cute. He'll probably just go into a treasure bag. And then, oh, careful. These two little breakable kitty cats. Beautiful pink art glass dish. No chips or cracks on that one. I thought that was really pretty. Robin Hood. A Robin Hood piece. Now, these are different, you know. I just thought it was pretty cool. Robin Hood, made in England, 1986. And it's signed. 
it's really cool. Lots of detail and stuff on him. You can just hang him on your wall. And then a bunch, a bunch of linens, pillowcases galore. These are all embroidered tea towels. Um, let me switch this out of here. Oh, before we get into all the linens, she also got me a Santa cartoon car, a vintage Santa cartoon car. Oh my goodness. So fun, right? I wonder if he works. I have no idea if he works. He's made in Taiwan, but look at him. He's still in his original box. He's vintage Christmas. Of course I would want him. Oh my goodness. How fun and kitschy is this? So, so fun. I wonder if he works. I'm gonna have to try him out. I'll see if I have some batteries and I'll, you know, let you guys know if he works up here. Then, um, this whole entire bag is full of linens. Like, I'm telling you, pillowcases, runners, oh, and a poodle. A poodle jewelry holder. Look at her eyelashes. OMG! She holds your earrings and stuff. She's cute and metal. And, yes, you guys, linens galore. Like, so many pillowcases. Tons and tons and tons of embroidered pillowcases. I mean, there is tons of them in here. Tons of embroidered linens. Tablecloths. Tea towels, different, all kinds of different things. Look how springy and fun that is. It's all embroidered. So fun. And I mean, the, and it just keeps going and going and going. There's piles and piles and piles in here. So many fun, fun embroidered linens. So thank you so much, Alex. Like I said, for that, I gave her, she just wanted 20 bucks for all everything. So Awesome, awesome, awesome haul. I think I did quite well for going up there and spending $48 for all that stuff. It was a pretty big haul, I know. Um, what do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found or Alex found out of the Goodwill bins this time. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below as well. And I can let you know if it will be available in a live sale or if I'm willing to sell it outright. Most everything you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. Picking videos, thrifting videos, adventure videos, flea market videos, or live sales. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun today. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.